I wonder why kangaroos have pouches and other questions about baby animals. How do wolf cubs learn to howl? How does a lamb find its mother? Which baby has the best mother? A baby gorilla has one of the best moms in the world. A grown-up gorilla may look a bit frightened, frightening to us, but she's loving and gentle to her young. As well as gro grooming the baby, she feeds it for up to three years and protects and helps it for longer still. Gorillas, gorillas or a type of or a type of ape along with chimpanzees gibbons and orangutans all the apes all the apes make jolly good moms which body has the worst mother the female european cuckoo can't be bothered to look after her chicks this lazy mom lays an egg in another bird's nest. When, when the egg hatches, it's the other bird that does all the hard work raising the chick. The cuckoo managed to trick birds because her egg matches the other ones in the nest. Which mother has her baby in prison? Well, the female herbin Hornbill is laying her eggs in a hole in a tree. The male helps her to blow up the door, but he leaves a hole for her beak so that he can feed her while she's stuck inside. Three, three souls or part-time moms. They leave their only pupping by to feed them every other day. Three truths are part-time moms. They leave their babies in, in the nest, only popping by to feed them every other day. Which father gives birth to his young? The male seahorse has a special pouch on his body where the female lays her eggs. The male has to carry them around till they hatch, and then hundreds of baby seahorses shoot out into the sea. Whose feet keep an egg warm? warm? Every year, in the middle of winter, a female empire penguins, penguin lays one egg and gives, gives it to her mate to keep warm. He balanced the egg, the egg, between his feet and his feathers until it hatches in early spring. Male sticklebacks, sticklebacks look after their young. If a baby tries to swim off, the dad grabs it in his mouth and spits it back in the nest. Which father has a twist like a sponge? Sand girls live in the dairy dry desert areas of Africa, Asia, and Southern Europe. When water ensures supply, the male flies hundreds of kilometers to water to a water hole and soaks 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 of water in his feather. Then he flies back to his thirsty tricks and lets them suck out the water for a long refreshing drink. Many animal feather fathers play no part in bringing up their young. Most of them live before the babies are even born. Why do kangaroos have pouches? A pouch is a safe place for a baby to grow. A newborn kangaroo is only the size of a peanut. It struggles through its mom's fur until it reaches her warm pouch. There, it feeds, on, it feeds on her milk and carries on growing. Only female kangaroos have a pouch. The males don't have babies, so they don't need one. Who clings on for dear life? A baby lemur rides on its mom's back for first 
seven, the first seven months for each of its life. It wraps its legs around her and holds on tightly as she leaps through the forest on a hair-raising ride, who is carried by the scarf of the neck. Like all cat mothers, a leopard lifts her cub by gripping the neck, the back of its neck in her mouth. The skin is very loose and baggy here, so the cub isn't hurt. It hangs quite still until she gently puts it down again. A female crocodile carries her babies in her mouth, taking care not to bite them with her razor-sharp teeth. Who likes a ride on the water? Baby grebes often ride along the on their mother's back, they don't have to duff, 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 even, and they don't have to do. They, they are perfectly able to swim in a swim on their own. Which body has lots of aunties? As well as having a mother, a baby elephant has a lot of ants. That's because female elephants live in large family groups of up to 50 animals. In effect, a new calf not only has plenty of ants, it has grannies, sisters, and cousins too. Which babies stay in a nursery? Mara parents leave their babies underground to make sure they are not lonely. Lots of families share the same burrow. When a mother drops by to feed her young, she checks up on the other Mara babies too. When a hippo mother goes off to feed, she leaves her calf with a babysitter. Maras live in South America. They are kind of long-legged Guinea pig. Mara parents never join their babies in the barrel. They whistle down the hole and the young come scrambling out. Which is the biggest nursery? Bracken Cave in the USA is home to over 20 million million bats. The monsters leave their babies in a nursery huddled together for a room. The bats are so tightly packed, there may be thousands in a space the size of a doormat. Be used nurseries too. The egg, the eggs hatch out in a special part of the hive. A bat mother has such sharp hearing that she recognizes her baby's call from millions of others in the cave. What's inside a bird's egg? There are three things inside a bird's egg. A baby bird, a yellow yolk, and a clear jelly called a white. The yolk is food for growing food for the growing bird. The white is food too, but it is also, but it also protects the bird if the egg gets a knock. Some eggs don't get don't get the chance to hatch. They are eaten by hungry hunters. Some eggs hatch quickly, others more slowly. A baby houseplay hatches in 24 hours, but a queenie chick takes three months or more. Whale, whale sharks lay the biggest egg. They are side they are there. Whale sharks lay the biggest eggs. There's they are the size of a rock by ball. Rugby, rugby, rugby ball. Why do birds turn their eggs? Birds, birds turn their eggs so that every part of the egg gets its fair share of room. The baby birds need room to grow. That's why a parent has to sit on the nest. Is it only birds that, that lay eggs? Fish, frogs, snakes, turtles, insects, spiders, all sorts of animals lay eggs. The eggs look look and feel quite different. Turtle, turtle eggs are soft and literary, literary 
and the size of golf balls. Butterfly eggs are tiny and often sparkle like shiny jewels. Caterpillars must be born hungry. Many of them gobble up their e eggshells as they hatch. Which baby has the comfiest nest? Baby rabbits have a nest that is really cozy. Their mother builds it inside a burrow, plumping dry grass stalks into a cushion, and then covering it with her own soft fur. Who is born under the snow? Polar bear cubs are born in an underground den, which their mother digs deep in the snow. Warm air is trapped inside the den, making it a surprisingly snug place to spend the winter months. A human, human gling bird's nest is about the size of a walnut. It's made of, it's made from spider silk, ilchen, flower petals of, and plant fluff. Which nests are 100 years old? American bold eagles fly back to the same nest near after knee year after year. They make a few repairs then lay their eggs. Some nests are over one hundred years old and are bigger than bigger and heavier than a cat. In the United States a pair of woodpeckers made their nest in the space shuttle. They didn't blast off with a with a doof, doof, doof. Who's at home in a bubble? Baby frog hoppers are often called spittle bugs because they make a bubbly fruit like spit very soon after they are born. They hide in this cuckoo split, split while they feed and grow. Which is the biggest baby in the world? The baby blue whale is a little woofer weighing up to 3,000 kilograms. That's as much as three and uh, 1,000 human babies. As soon as it is born, its mother nudges it to the surface to take the first breath of air. Baby blue whales, ba ba a baby blue whale is, a, is as long as five scuba divers swimming tip to toe. The baby howler monkey is a champion screamer. Its cries can be heard even through thick rainforest. Which is the tallest baby? A baby giraffe is about 2 meters tall. That's taller than most grown-up people. The mother giraffe is taller than still and gives birds standing up. Her new baby hits the ground feet first. Ouch! It's a long way to fall. Which is the originalist bird? A baby. One of the ugliest. Which is which is the ugliest? Which is the which is the ugliest baby? One of the ugly. One of the ugliest looking babies is the vul vulture vulture trick. With its big hook, beak, and bare head and neck, but then its parents aren't they beautiful either? Why do pandas have one baby at a time? A mother giant panda gives her cub so much love and attention that she can only cub with one at a time. By looking after her cub for a year or more, she is helping to make sure that her body survives. Her her baby survives. Survives. There aren't many pandas left. Zookeepers fly their fly their pandas around the world so they can meet other panda pan so they can meet other pandas and hopefully have babies. Which animals lay hundreds of eggs? Most frogs and toads lay hundreds of eggs in a big fruity mass called spawn. Many of the eggs are eaten, but some of them survive and hatch into tap tadpoles. The giant clam may have the 
biggest family of all. Every year, the female leaves a great cloud of eggs, at least a billion of them. Which family is always identical? Which t- each time a nine banded armadillo ar- ar- gives birth, she has four identical babies. They are either all female or or male. This is because a single egg inside a mother's mother splits into f- four, and all and all four parts begin to grow into identical clusters. After the first moms lay just one egg every two years, the chick is looked after by its parents for about 10 months until it's big enough to fly. Which baby drinks the creamiest milk? A mother herb seal's milk is so thick and rich that it looks more than more like mayonnaise than milk. It's about 12 times creamier than cow's milk and and is such good food that you can almost see the herb seal pup growing fatter as it feeds. feeds. Many seal pups are born in the coldest, coldest parts of the world, but they don't freeze to death because they have a thick layer of fat covered by a furry coat to keep them nice and warm. Rum. A seal pup has to grow quickly so that its mother can go off and catch fish. She spends three weeks just feeding her pup. After that, she's starving. A baby salmon hatches with its own packed lunch. The tiny fish has a pouch of food, brittle like an egg yolk, that keeps it going for several weeks. Which parent served mil- meals in a bag? A pelican has a baggy pouch of skin under its beak, which, which it used to scoop up fish. Then it drains off the water and swallows them all. When a chick needs to feeding, the parent brings up a mouthful of fish and lets the baby feed from the pouch. Yummy. In the first 56 days of each life, the polyplumous month caterpillar munches its 86000 times its own birth weight in leaves. That's like a human baby eating six large truckloads of food. The insides, the insides of many baby birds' mouths are brightly colored. People think that is that this encourages encourages the parents to feed the hungry chicks. Why do lion cubs chase their mother's tail? Lion cubs are very playful, playful and pounce on anything that moves, especially the the tassel on the end of and the end of their mother, mom's tail. Games like this teach the cubs how to chase and pounce, skills they'll need they, when they have to hunt for themselves. Plays how baby animals learn or sorts of important skills t- for grown-up life. Sea otters know how to have fun. The mother tosses her tosses her baby into the into the air and then catches it. Why do ducklings play follow my leader? When ducklings hatch, they follow the first moving thing they see, which is usually their mother. By following her everywhere, they learn how to swim and feed. And if they wander off, she only has to call and they fell in line. Some parents teach their young how to use tools. Baby chimps soon learn how to dig for termites with a stick. When does a puppy turn into a dog? Every puppy is blind and helpless when it's born. But by the time it's two years old, it will be fully grown. All pups are roughly the same size when they are born, whatever type of dog they are. 
So it it takes smaller breeds breeds less time to finish growing up. At about two weeks, the puppy's eyes and ears open. It will begin walking soon. A baby wild beast runs before it even walks. The youngest trots along beside its mother just five minutes after it's born. By six weeks, the puppy is starting, starting to explore its place with its brothers or, and sisters and enjoys a tumble, tumble. By the time it is fully grown, the dog is strong and active. Good food and ex exercise will help it to stay fit. When does a tiger cub leave home? A mother tiger looks after her cubs until they are about two years old, but then she has another litter, litter and ignores the older cubs. It's not really cruel. The two years two year olds are grown up now, and it's ta it's about time they took care of themselves. Larva. Larva, pupa, beetle. Most insects change shape as they grow. A beetle starts life as a wiggly larva, then it turns into a pupa. It may not look like it's doing much, but inside the hard skin, the insect is changing fast. When it crawls out, it's a fully grown beetle. Which baby hides in the forest? A young deer called a fawn is very wobbly on its legs. It couldn't outturn a hungry cougar or wolf. So when it, it sense danger, the young animal frees and stays completely still until the danger has passed. The fawn's fly fawn's spectacled Spectacled coat helps it seem almost invisible in the forest dampened light. Which babies hide in a circle of, <coughs> of horns? Adults must oxygen make a circle around their coats when danger threatens. They stand close together with their head lowered facing the enemy like a row of shields. It takes a brave and hungry wolf to attack the wall of long curved horns. horns. Lots of animals make noises to scare away enemies. Young burrowing owls, which live in holes in the ground, make, can make a noise like a rattlesnake when they are threatened. Which mother pretends she's sick? If a hungry hunter threatens a plover's nest, the mother bird pretends it to be rounded. She'll flash a ring as if it is broken or flat and flutters weakly along the ground, moving away from the nest. She wants the enemy to think that she is injured and would be easy to capture. That way, the hunt hunter will go after her, not her babies. A mother scorpion protects her newborn young, her newborn young by carrying them on her back. If an enemy approaches, she arches her poison-tipped tail high above her back. That usually stops the enemy coming any closer. Which baby is always being washed? A mother cat licks her kitten from the moment they are born. Licking roughly around the newborn kitten's mouth makes it gasp and start breathing. The mother's tongue dries the kitten's fur too, to keep the kitten warm. Falcons preen their chicks' feathers as well as their own. They pick, they pick out dirt and insects and spread oil over the feathers. This oil is produced by the bird's oil glands and makes the feathers waterproof. But might not seem a good thing to clean yourself with, but there is nothing a baby hippo likes more than a wallow in a mud bed. Believe it or not, the mud protects the hippo's skin from the sun and keeps it soft. 
who enjoys a good groom. A Bevan makes sure her babies are well groomed. Working slowly, section by section, she perts the baby's fur and fixes carefully with her fingers. She will remove pieces of dead skin, insects, and dirt, and most of what she finds, the she eats. Sometimes a fool snaps at its mother, but it's only being friendly. The biting action is the full way of asking its mother to nozzle it and groom its coat, which baby lives in the clean, cleanest nest. Lots of animals keep their baby's nest clean, but the ba badger would pro probably win first prize. Adult badgers regularly line their burrows with fresh dried grass and leaves. They even dig special holes go away from the burrow, which the whole family uses as toilets. How does a lamb find its mother? Mothership and their mo lambs sometimes get separated in a counted Crowded field. Most lambs look the same, but each one has its own distinctive call. Every mother sheep knows her own baby's cry and can easily find it, find it in the crowd. Most whales and dolphins talk to their young and to each other using tricks and other sounds. A baby humpback can hear its mom from up to. 185 kilometers away, so it never gets lost. A mother moose nudges her baby from behind. This tells the young moose that it has to keep moving on, even if it is feeling tired. Which baby gets smacked when it's naughty? When a baby elephant is naughty, naughty, its mother punished her. Calf by wiggle, wrecking it, it with her trunk. The calf learns quickly what it should and should not do, not do. But a mother elephant will also use her trunk to stroke her baby and other young elephants in the herd. This is a sign of attraction. Of affection. Affection. Wolf cubs learn learn to howl by copying the sounds their parents make. The manatee nuzzles her young and cradles it in her flippers to prevent it from floating away in the current.